Well, I'm back. And back by popular demand. And because the video that I did on the fake versus real Cuban Cohiba labels did so well, I'm going to do you another solid. I'm going to give you some more clues on how to pick out a real Cuban cigar next on The Lancer Life. This is a box uh, that I was given uh, back in 2015 by a cat in Chicago that I used to get my Cuban cigars from. This is a Monte Cristo Habana um, Edmundo, a box of Edmundos. Edmundos are one of the lines of Monte Cristo cigars. Uh, and doing some research online, I've decided I would share with you some neat tips and tricks on how to determine whether you are getting real Cuban. So let's put you in the scenario. You're going down to the islands or you're going down to Mexico. You got your honey and you're chilling out and some cat shows up on the beach and he does, bam, I got a box of Cuban cigars. Would you like to buy one? Your first response should be, hell to the gnaw, get out of my face. Here's why. Once a Cuban cigar leaves the safe confines of this box, you have no real good way of knowing whether that cigar you're getting from somebody is a genuine Cuban. I know, I know the temptation is there. I know that for some people who have friends who go overseas and they say, oh, I know my buddy so-and-so loves Cuban cigars. They, they're tempted to bring back Cuban cigars. But have you gone online and seen some of the stuff that's found in fake Cuban cigars? It's nasty. Plastic hair, uh, turds and feces from rodents. I mean, it's brutal. So um, once it leaves this little shelter, you, you, you have no shot of knowing. So we'll, we'll get to that later. But let's, let's, let's start talking about examining the box of, of, of Cuban cigars. I'm gonna to try to tilt this as many ways as I can. And I'm gonna give you another video close-up. Do you see the hieroglyphics in that label? That is really important to see and note on the green label here uh, that comes, this the stamp from uh, the Republica de Cuba. Uh, you need to understand that uh, there are hieroglyphics on that van as well as a barcode that you can go to the official uh, Havana website and key in that barcode to determine if this box is a true genuine registered uh, box uh, from Cuba. The other clue is this guy right here. Now, newer boxes, if you can see in that gold, newer boxes also have hieroglyphics in there. Oh, you can see it. When you tilt a certain way, you might be able to see some of the hieroglyphics in there. Um, nope, I don't see it. But anyway, newer boxes, even with this Habana, Habano seal, that gold trim now has additional uh, uh, hieroglyphics in there and it's going to come across the seal cut off that uh, uh, that hinge uh, and it's going to be there if you feel this if you look at that that is raised print let me see if I can give you an angle oh there you go you can see that that's kind of raised print another sign of quality is is raised print on that the term branding came from the old way that with a hot piece of metal, people would stamp their products, blue jeans, their cattle, whatever, with a brand. That's where the term branding comes from. Uh, this is a branded box. This isn't spray painted on. If you run your fingers across that, this is actually burned into the box. So you're gonna feel texture. Like a blind person can feel Monte Cristo going across there. That's the same on the back of the box. This is a burned in indented impression. 
another way that you know that it is a uh, um, um, a real genuine Cuban box. Another thing is the uh, Totalmente Amano. There are three different sayings that can go in this box. One is Totalmente um, Amano. The other three, I don't remember because I don't have my notes here in front of me. But Totalmente Amano means it's totally, essentially totally made by hand. And this is the symbol that they put on there for a long filler tobaccos. So, uh, uh, um, tobaccos, uh, cigars made in, in Cuba that are made with long filler are going to have this on there. You can still get a genuine Cuban cigar. It might be short filler, it might be something else. That will be different or that can be missing. So, look at this. That is the month and year that the cigars are produced and a three digit code that uh, is associated with the factory that produces it. That is not stamped in, that is a, that's not branded in, that is a stamp. That is another key indicator on where, uh, on the fact that this is a genuine Cuban cigar. Because cigars by Cuba um, age well over time, they've decided to let you know what vintage, just like you get on a bottle of wine, you like the vintage of the wine. Well, you're kind of getting a vintage of the cigar with this as well. So you're gonna look for that, that month and year and the three digit code associated with the, uh, uh, the cigar uh, place of manufacturing. So there you have it. You have this green seal you, with a barcode that you can go on the official website to check and hieroglyphics, look at that thing. That can tell you this is essentially a stamp of authenticity. This is also gonna give you some uh, level of authenticity. Remember, all new Cubans, I don't know what year it changed, but in that gold band, there are hieroglyphics in there now, uh, but this is raised letter. That's the, the, the second, you know, one, two, feeling for pressed in, branded in is three, month and year is four. Uh, so, when somebody comes up to you and offers you that cigar on the beach, you say, no, nah, dude, because I don't know where it's been. Here's some tricks, though. When you go into a cigar, oh, another thing. You're looking for this on the window of any place that tells you they're authorized to sell Cuban cigars. That's another key. When you go to get Cuban cigars, you want to make sure the place is an authorized dealer selling Cuban cigars. Some of my research has told me that even authorized, reputable dealers will get fake Cuban cigars and sell them to you because it's a hot commodity. I'm just telling you. Guys that are selling you stuff aren't interested in selling you stuff. They're interested in making money. And if they can make money selling you fake Cubans, guess what? Some of these cats will do that. So here's what I would do. If I go into a shop, first I'm looking at this, then I'm looking at all this stuff on the box, and it, let's say I only wanna buy two or three cigars. Well, if they have a box that's already open with two or three cigars, uh, and maybe uh, that's, all, that's all that's rattled around in there open, I'm gonna try to get them to open another box. So if I gotta wait for somebody else that's going in to get Cuban cigars, and he and I can go together, that's gonna be the way you do it. If you go down with a group and you don't wanna buy individual boxes, look, if you buy an individual box, you're good. But if you only want some, cause I'm not a buy a box of cigars cat. I just like five or six or seven or whatever of each. But the goal is get them to get a fresh box and open a box. If they have eight Lucy's in the box, damn it, buy nine, force them to open the box, get your nine from the newly opened box. That's gonna be the best way you ensure or and assure yourself that you're getting the general article. If you gotta go in with somebody, go in with somebody. If you gotta wait for two or three cats, go in with two or three cats. But the closer you get, to getting a unopened, sealed box with all this stuff that improves your chances of getting the genuine article. Here's why. When 
I typed that barcode in, it didn't show up as a registered box. So, nothing is foolproof. This is Charles Kelly. Thanks for joining.